What's up, Narco Gang? Welcome back to the channel. If y'all not subscribed, y'all already know what to do. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell to be notified for everything that we drop. Today we got crazy content. We got Dr. Umar Johnson. We got a he, he an activist, I believe, some shit like that. He he building like a Frederick Douglass school that he ain't finished. He been doing that shit for six years, almost ten years now, asking for donations. He been scamming the black community. Right now we got him at, on the expose. If y'all don't know who he is, here go a little clip of wh of who he is and, wh and and what type of person he is up here, and who and you know what I'm saying what he think about how he thinks is what I'm trying to say. So let's get to this thing. Take your money, and she's going to spend it at white stores, white shops, white malls. Okay, she's going to invest in white business franchises with the black. He's talking about white women, y'all. If y'all didn't know, he's talking about it. Men, black men dating white women. And why they shouldn't date white women. I don't agree. So don't scold me in the motherfucking comments. I don't agree with that shit. So let me ask you a question. If you are in a war. Let's say you are in a war. Armed combat with the opposition. And one of your soldiers. Took all of his money. Over to the other side. And gave it to the competing army. To strengthen their military position. What would you call that brother? What would you call that soldier who takes all of his money over to the other side? He gives his money to the enemy so that the enemy can strengthen his position against you. What do you call him? You know what you call him? You call him traitor. That's what you call him. He would be guilty of sedition. He would be guilty of treason. Is there any other definition you can use? To describe a soldier who takes all of his assets and gives it to the enemy so the enemy can strengthen his position against his own army. You call him a traitor. So from a financial standpoint, my brother, you have to recognize that what you are doing is you are investing in the power and maintenance of white supremacy by dating or being married to a white woman. Let me say it again. Let me say this again. You are investing in the strength, power, an extension of the European Empire. That's what you're doing. Yes. So that's the first reason. It is financial betrayal to marry or date outside of your race. Okay, mind that's you, number one. Marry or date outside number two, of your race. Mind, mind you, you said that. Marry or date outside of your race. to black female children. It is psychologically damaging to our little girls to see a black man hugged up with loved up with committed to a woman outside of his race when her mother cannot even find a suitable partner and then a lot of you black men who date outside of your race you don't even speak to black women when you see them when you're with your non-African Bro, that's your damn phone. Okay? You don't even speak to black women when you are with your white woman. You go out of your way to ignore sisters, many of you do. Part of you do this out of guilt. Part of you do this out of shame. And some of you do this because you want to reassure your white woman that she's more important than any black woman. All right, so now y'all see his way of thinking, right? So, we finna go ahead and move on to the next one, right? We finna move on to the next video. Y'all finna see, he argue with another one. Let's see. Everything that you're doing, because you're not all, all based on statistics. But listen, so now listen. I'm saying to you, have you tried the European, it? No. The European is melanin deficient. You you have a melanin deficiency. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that melanin deficiency <laughs> affects your ability to reach higher states of spiritual growth. And so when I make love, when I make love to my wife, when I reproduce with my wife, the two of us making love is an act of oneness. So in that moment, we Do you think are. It's appropriate as, for you to talk about you making love with your wife online. Well, listen to me. I'm not speaking of sex. I know. I'm speaking You're of saying, spiritual you know, you're saying intimacy. Love, same thing. Well, I think it's appropriate. Do you think she would appreciate that? that? Listen hey. to me. It's a it's appropriate as long as you're not being vulgar, right? Yeah. But the point I'm trying to make is, if I 
reproduce with a melanin deficient woman. If I reproduce with a melanin deficient woman, that will restrict my ability to achieve God consciousness. See, the black man and woman are the oldest in the world. So we Ruby, are the closest. Can you be quiet. <laughs> can you please say What's something to these people? They're so nasty. Don't, well, you have to understand. It's 9 15 a.m. in Australia. Um, and I have two children. So, um, yeah. What is your Something nationality, like... may I ask? I'm Scottish. Scottish. Ah, I haven't been to Scotland. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you... I haven't been to Scotland? Why would you go to Scotland, bro? You're talking all this shit about Europeans, bro. Why would you go to Scotland, bro? The Scottish feel about black people. Um, I'm not sure. You're not sure. No, that's a lie, y'all. How do you feel about black people? Um, I love them. You that's questionable, y'all. Not them? all of, not all of them. I'm scared of some of them because you know, some of them are a bit like crazy. There y'all go. But some black I people are crazy. I mean, it's and true. what way it's are they true. crazy? Some niggas like, is some crazy. of them are not like same the, the exact same as a white person. Okay, mm -hmm. so you're saying there's crazy blacks and crazy whites. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But is it possible that the whites made the blacks crazy? Well, I don't see why not. <laughs> hey, I mean, he got a point there, but that's not the point here, bro. That's not the point we're trying to make. The point is, this nigga is a... Let's get into... Y'all y'all finna see. Y'all see about the title. Let's get to this next video. Y'all see where this is going, right? Now, notice ain't that same girl that's in that live. It look like her. I know it do. But let's get into this video, y'all. You got it. You got it. Oh Look at it. <laughs> Bro, look at this shit. Yeah, he over here. You got it. You got it. Oh God. Look at it. <laughs> His ass over here laughing and giggling, exchanging numbers. You know what I'm saying? Like. Everything he say he against, everything he preaching about, like, we don't, I don't want y'all, y'all shouldn't do, and all this, and what he doing, the exact same thing he preaching about on the internet. This is his number one issue on the internet with black people is white women. So why is he, you know what I'm saying, this is not a good look for him, and then it's obviously somebody seen him there and decided to record because they got the same impression I got, like, hold on, bruh. You ain't supposed to be doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? But with that being said, Darko Gang, it's the end of this video. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this shit in the comments, man. Y'all go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button. This shit is crazy. I can't believe that he really got caught lagging like this, bro. Like, for somebody to be a black activist solely and only for, for black people, only dating black people, only marrying black people, only talking to black people, only buying and shopping black businesses, like, for you to be getting caught la lacking like this, bro, I don't know, man. You you got caught lacking on this one, cause, like, for real. With that being said, man, we out this day, Narco Gang. Peace.